Hi YouTube. I had a user ask me to elaborate a little bit more on my little DC trickle battery charger for my desulfator. So here we go. Here's the data sheet for the DC converter I'm using. Texas Instruments, 6 amp wide input adjustable switching regulator. I'm going to point out a few things real quick. 6 amp output. They make two variations of this, a low power and a high power. We want the high power version since we're working with 12 volt batteries. Which, if you're searching on eBay or Mouser or Newark, you're using the bottom number, the one with the H. That's your part number. Here's our unit on the data sheet. And here's our unit right here. It's extremely simple to set up. First thing, besides having the unit, is we want an old computer brick. See this one outputs 20 to 25 volts at 3 amps max. This way there's a couple volt difference between the battery and the unit so this way the DC converter can work correctly. We have our input power right there and we have our output power. Negative runs to the negative on my desulfator which negative also runs out to my battery clip positive battery clip positive from the desulfator runs up to a switch so I can turn it on and off and then positive to the desulfator and to the battery now as for other components you have to buy besides this unit the only other things you need are two capacitors and a 100 kilo ohm potentiometer quarter watt usually so you have your input ground and positive it says right here on the data sheet you need a ceramic capacitor to filter your input don't worry about it for a simple reason they already got them built on board they want you to add more when I added more it stopped working so don't worry about the input capacitors don't need them so that takes care of pin 1 and pin 2 Pin 3 is your inhibit line. We don't need it in this application, so we don't even touch it. See, I never used the pin. Actually, the pins are below, but I started everything on top. Pin 4 is your R set. That's your voltage set. It's required. You can use uh, basically the smallest resistor you can get because it doesn't carry any current. It's just measuring the resistance. And that's why you can get away with using a nice little tiny potentiometer to set your voltage and remember we set it to 13 and a half volts for the battery that's best um, pin 5 that is your voltage out sense that is what makes sure that once you set this to 13 and a half volts it stays at 13 and a half volts it doesn't drift down it doesn't drift up it stays right where it is and the easiest way is if you see here pin 5 runs right up to here which is also pin 6 so what we did is just run from pin 5 to pin 6, direct wire across. And your output capacitors, there they are right here, across your output load, your negative and your, oh wait, no, sorry, your positive is pin 6, pin 7 is your negative, and it runs across them. 330 microfarads, more is okay. I believe each one of these are 470 microfarads at 25 volts, and I got two of them there. There you go, now you can actually see them. So if you go overkill here, it's not going to hurt it at all. Do not go under that number, otherwise it will not function correctly. So that's basically it. Again, input power, output power, switch it, manually turn it on and off, your output capacitors and your potentiometer so you can set your voltage on this. And an old power brick that you pick up maybe like $5 at a farmer's market, at the flea market. The last thing I need to tell you before I stop this video, if you use a DC-DC converter, make sure before you turn it on and put power to the desulfator and the battery, have the desulfator connected. If you don't, you will fry the desulfator with this, with your DC converter. If you have any more questions, 
feel free to leave me a comment and if you can, good.